Hail, Flame here, and welcome to the Flame His World playthrough of Vanquish. Now, Vanquish is a game uh, created by Platinum Games and published by Sega, which originally came out back in 2010. Uh, I think it was October 2010, but more recently it's had a PC release, which came out in May this year actually. So that's what I'm playing here. This was actually the first time that I've ever played this game. Like I've been aware of what it is. I know some stuff about Platinum, but like this PC release is the first time that I'd actually played it myself. And I went through it and I had a really good time with it. Like it's quickly become a game that I really like a lot. And yeah, that's pretty much why I wanted to play through it again, record it and essentially show it off in a playthrough. So, long story short, Vanquish is a third person shooter. It does have some of the third person shooter kind of tropes that you're aware of. You know, there's a lot of like hide behind the wall, spray and pray, go back to your wall, that kind of dealio. But by the same token, it is also much faster paced than a lot of the shooters that I've played in the past and am aware of. So, you know, it's got a little bit that appeals to me in that respect. <laughs> Now, our protagonist is called Sam Gideon, and he's from DARPA, and what we're seeing here is he's been trained to use this new suit that has all this cool shit in it. You know, like, it's got boosters, it's got weapons, and this is what makes the gameplay what it is, really. We've got all this different cool shit going on that we're about to be talked through. And um, yeah, I'll probably get more into like the story, the characters, all that stuff in the next part and just generally going forward. Same with like the development, staff, all that kind of stuff. Because this first part is very short as you can tell and yeah, I just want to show off what you can do in Vanquish. So you've got your typical third person movement as you can see here. It's I'm playing with the controller. You can play mouse and keyboard although for a start, I tend not to. It's just I've got problems with my wrists and that gets quite uncomfortable after a little while, whereas controllers I'm fine with. But also, like, this game was designed with controllers in mind. Like I say, it was originally a 360 and PS3 game. So, you know, that's what a lot of people who have been playing this game for a while are familiar with. So I just kind of figured if that's been working for people for so long, then even though it is a shooter, I know a lot of people do prefer to play shooters with mouse and keyboard because, you know, you get more accurate aim with a mouse than you do with a right analog stick. Which is understandable as a method of input. Like, I don't get on with it personally, but I can see that it is the superior option. So yeah, we get in the initial training of shooting the guys. I was meant to look down my sights there, but didn't because I'm a rebel or I can't read on screen instruction properly, one of the two. <laughs> but yeah, as for the actual PC port, because this is a new port, and it's the second of a couple of recent Platinum Games ports, because originally they released the Bayonetta PC version. Then just a few weeks later, they came out with this, which I think is pretty cool. This, the frame rate is uncapped, which is a godsend really like that's the problem i hear a lot about the original console versions of this game because the original console ones to my knowledge ran around 30. i could play this at like 144 frames per second i've got a good 144 hertz monitor and it looks beautiful it feels amazing to play that's where one of the problems early on stemmed from though originally when this port came out there was an issue where the damage you take was initially tied to the game's frame rate. So that meant because I was playing it at full 144, I was taking like over four times as much damage as I was meant to be. Now this might seem like the sort of thing that would be a really obvious problem to a lot of people, but because it was my first time playing the game, I didn't realise this and I just thought I was bad at the game. <laughs> like, you know, I was just sort of ploughing through it and like I was dying a lot, I was taking a lot more damage than I should have been. But I just thought, like, well it must be because I don't play shooters that often and, you know, I'm sort of ploughing me through a game for the first time, I don't really know what I'm doing. 
I must be shit at this because I'm dying way more than anyone else I've ever seen play this game. But no, it turned out it was just a like oversight in the game, which has been patched now. And to give the uh, port in team credit, it wasn't actually ported by Platinum. I can't remember off the top of my head who was handling the port. I'll probably bring that up in a later part. But they did actually get on that fairly quickly. I think it was only actually up broken for like a week. And they were actually working on a bank holiday to get the patch out quickly. Like they had a beta patch and they just got that out as quickly as they could. And then like a couple of days after said bank holiday, they just finalized it and released the patch and that fixed the damage issue. And since then there has been another patch which just sort of worked out some minor little inconsistencies with how quick it takes to lock on like your rocket launchers, things like that. But yeah, on the whole, it is a really solid PC release, which I'm glad I can give credit to that because the Bayonetta port, like I will say I'm not as keen on Bayonetta on, on the whole. Like it's a good game, but not my kind of game. I've never got around to beating it. That didn't have the unlocked frame rate. That was capped at 60 frames, which I assume that's probably got something to do with how the original game was designed. Like maybe the timings work a certain way and they're tied to frame rate. But yeah, it's nice to see Vanquish as a fast-paced shooter, like, at a full, you know, unlocked frame rate. I, this is one of the things that since I've got a 144Hz monitor, I've just, you know, had such an appreciation for how much more immersive it is having a higher frame rate. But yeah, just now in the game we saw the melee, which the melee actually ties into this... Uh, mechanic we have which is that you can overheat and so you only get so many melee hits before you overheat and this here the other thing that can cause you to overheat is taking too much damage which when you're in this mode you go into what is known as the AR mode and what AR mode does is it slows all the action down around you so you can get more precise shots you can get more you know precise dodging you you can see bullets coming towards you that bit slower, so you've got time to just move the fuck out of the way, which, you know, it's very useful. It happens by default if you take too much damage, but you can also manually trigger it. And the way you manually trigger it, this is part one of the main strategies you'll be using throughout this game, is that you can just look down the site and then do a dodge roll and it triggers itself. But... That's pretty much the essentials you'll need, other than the boost which I skimmed past. But yeah, I'll get more into that in the main game. But ladies and gentlemen, join me next time where we'll be starting the story ball vanquish. See you then.